guys welcome back so i bought this game and expands back in july as soon as they were released but i was still in the middle of final fantasy 16 and so these two games have just been sitting on my home screen staring at me every time i switch on my playstation but it's finally time now this game is supposed to be about the south indian immigrant couple moving to canada and how they adjust in their new lives in the new place and all of that jazz but it's mostly just cooking Apparently, I'll have to cook a bunch of South Indian recipes. Now, I myself am not really what you would call a cook. I can't cook. I mean, I can make the basics, but I'm pretty sure I don't know any of the recipes in this game. Also, I don't know if you know, but I live in South India. I'm not a South Indian, but I live in South India. So I'm pretty sure that I've either eaten or at least heard of most of the recipes in this game. So this is going to be very fun. And honestly, I'm still reeling from that traumatic Final Fantasy ending. So I need something light and fun in my life right now. So let's get started. Oh. Okay, I guess we are playing. What? Nineteen eighty-eight. Interesting. Oh, that's a calendar. Muthu travels. Leaving already? Are you sorry? Did I wake you? <laughs> what time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Oh, I was unwell, is it? Tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. So I'm assuming she's like a teacher. I was just about to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There is some leftover idli batter and garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay, I was just about to leave. It's just idli, it's very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba, don't worry. I can just survive on the coffee machine. Okay. Okay. Fine, I'll make it then. Oh, damn. It's all about cooking, isn't it? Wait five minutes. When but really it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Wait, is he a teacher or is she a teacher? I'm I'm confused. So I'm sick, but I have to make food for him because he sucks. <laughs> okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Should I try my mother's recipe for once? That recipe book looks tattered. The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Seems like a lot of work, bro. If the recipe is still readable, that is. Okay. Ooh, I'm like, let's play some music. Let's cook some food. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Okay, idli plate, tal, cooker. Water and batter. Holes to let steam through. Uh, these also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to blah or it will leak. What the hell? Arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Okay. Alright. Hmm. 
Hmm, I have not made Italy with these kind of plates before. Me neither. <laughs> I don't know how to make Italy's, to be honest. I've eaten a lot of Italy's, but I don't know how to bake them. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. Oh, okay. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Amma swears this method makes the Italy's a lot softer. Uh... Oh, there's a, oh, this is nice. They have hints about it, Liz. Ooh. Are a breakfast staple. They are so little of you, but they give you so much back. Simply grind rice and some fermented lentils for that cloudy batter. And steam it to make those soft, fluffy cakes. Uh, anyone can make it, it's so easy. Except for my husband, I guess. <laughs> Although I've never made it with my mom's mother's cooker. So this might be a challenge. Alright, what else was there? There was something else, right? How is it served? Italy is a versatile and it is all about what you eat it with. Chili powder and sesame oil would work well. I have never had it with chili powder and sesame oil. Of course, the staples like sambar and coconut chutney are great too. And that's what I've actually had it with. But eating it with some leftover chicken gravy is my favorite. Ooh, okay, interesting. There are a lot of options. Okay, uh, so then... There's water, there's the plates. What am I supposed to do with the dal? Okay, maybe I'll pick the batter. Put it here. Put the dal on top. What the hell? I don't think I should cover the batter with the towel. How then am I supposed to put the towel in it? No? What the hell? Hang on, hang on. <laughs> this is like the first one. It's supposed to be easy and I'm already like failing at it. Oh shit, I have to hold it. My bad. Does the towel go first? Because it has a hole, right? It has a hole. Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, am I supposed to put the water first? Oh, last. I don't understand. Well, the water's already in. Okay, so you can rotate it. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna put this, and then I'm gonna... Rotate. Oh, no, it's... Wait, what did it say? Am I supposed to... Oh, the other way around. Okay, hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no! Uh, how do I do this? Can I? Both are rotating now. <laughs> Damn it, third try, bro. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad at this. Okay, I put it in. And the next one. Oh, wait, what? If I put this. I don't know. Why didn't I think of that? How do I just rotate what? <laughs> oh, can I? What is that? Can I can I take one out? No? Oh my god! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ridiculous this is. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate it. To like it aligns with this. Then I'm gonna put the second one in. How am I gonna rotate the third one, you ask? I don't know. And then. Right, that works. That works. Okay. Now, how am I gonna rotate this? I don't know. Don't know. Can I just rotate? <sighs> I did not think this was gonna be that difficult. Oh, I forgot the water! Apparently, it is. So I don't know how to do this because, you know, both of them are gonna be. 
gemacht. Oh, I'm sorry. Ja, ja. That's what happens when you fail multiple times. So I put this. I'm definitely doing something wrong. Oh, I can... Oh, oh, got it, got it. Oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. This should work. This should definitely work. Okay, now... I'm putting this on. Turning it on. Okay. Cross your fingers. It took me so long. Should be long enough. Let's remove the lid. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, that looks nice. Right? It does look fluffy and shit. Like it was yesterday. I earned a trophy. I don't look very happy though. Oh. I also got a trophy saying put chutney. That is cute. Hee 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 hee. You really did have to do this. What else could I do? My husband got figured out at least. Oh nice. She's giving it to him. When I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Oh shush. Pavalam. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I had let you leave... What will I do? <laughs> I still have to cook as exhausted and sick as I am. You just wouldn't have seen it. I don't have a coffee machine here to survive on either. Is it so hard for you to cook, even on days like this? Well, there's nothing to say. You're right. Sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. So, do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives me... Oh. Uh, but unless the school gives you more shifts, or my boss changes his mind, it's going to be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but... I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. So she is... So what, both of them? So she is a definitely a teacher. And there's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave me? Leave with me now. I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no! I'm sure all I need is some sleep. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Doctors are free here. Okay? I'm assuming she feels much better. Ah, and she has a bimbi. And some bangles, I think. Making more idli. <laughs> Venba, are you home? What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What? What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Okay. Eat my idlis. Idlis are made with so much love. <laughs> idlis again? Oh, shut up. <laughs> what has gotten into you today? 
What is it? Okay. Oh, is she pregnant? I think she's pregnant. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either. But there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we are barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Ooh. Some hard-hitting questions. Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. Hmm. What do you think, Venva? I think she's fallen asleep. <laughs> Why aren't you saying anything? Oh, she's awake. <laughs> I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. Are you not worried? Ah, uh, no. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavalam, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? <laughs> That's nice. Being outshone by one's pair, uh, one's children is a universally. Oh shit! I get to read it, and they have a child now. My name is Pavel and Sir. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't realize I'll have to read so much. I didn't know it didn't have dialogues. Pavel and Sir, <laughs> Kevin. Oh, I guess that's the, the kid. Where did you run off to? Sir, it would be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? I don't have time to play, Carvin. <laughs> I have a lot of work to do. Yes, sir. I've managed to transport... I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? <laughs> Carvin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape! Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No! I like it! <laughs> that job was in India, sir, but... Carvin, wait there. Don't run. <laughs> Carvin, come back here! This has become a routine now. <laughs> yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. <laughs> Ayo, the doll is so dirty, da. <laughs> Yo, wear the shirt, Kanna. Okay, I don't know what Kanna means, but... No! But, sir, you can just take me on a probation period. Maybe? I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. Put this on, Karna. Hurry up now. But I don't want to. Speak in Tamil, Kavan. Can't even understand what you're saying. <laughs> you don't have to pay until then. Please, Karna. I understand, sir. Yes, good boy. Okay. <laughs> this is like so chaotic. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. Uh, guess time for it to go. I don't know. 
That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in the grocery store when I was 12. What the hell? And you were paid in candy. Ah, oh, well. I've only worked as a writer back home. I don't see myself getting a job for that year. Not with my English. I spend half of these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kavin. <laughs> if I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Ah, that's actually pretty cool and ingenious. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. Yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil, da. Well, what's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyways. <laughs> ah, names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name after all. Who else is gonna tell them? And Karin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. Aw, oh, that's so cute. I don't want to be beautiful. <laughs> I just want to be Kevin. <laughs> He's brighter than us, Venva. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know how he aced yesterday's English quiz? He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate, Dakanna. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Ooh. Can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil, <laughs> I want pizza. Uh, okay. How about we make something at home? Like parotta? Dosa? Diyapam Ghee dosa? <laughs> He's stuck on dosa Biryani Kari dosa <laughs> No, I'm tired of all of these I said I want pizza Extra cheese Extra toppings You eat pizza all the time Kavin Have you ever had puttu? I don't know what puttu is no. What's that? Well, I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. It reminds me of a rocket. What? Rocket? Yes, a lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. What? It does? Yes. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. <laughs> oh, she's smart, man. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. <laughs> Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? Okay, so we're gonna make something. I have no idea what it is. All right, let's get started. I haven't made this before, but Amma has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flour first, da. Oh no. Oh shit, I have no idea what this is, bro. Put two. Rice water blend. Separate fine rice from chunks. I don't know what the thing is. What the hell? Combine fine rice with water. Oh wait, so you blend the rice, then you separate it. You do something with the chunks, I have no idea. And then you combine the rice with water. Okay. Let's make it. When, when do we get to the rocket part? Soon, da. Be patient. 
Okay, let's actually see. What is this? Story? I'm no expert. But usually we toast the flower after we make it, no? Oh, okay. Usually, yes. It's important to toast it, especially if you're going to store the flower for later. But we're using it right away, so it's okay to skip it. Okay. Any other information? Just storing the flower, that's all. Okay. Okay, let's do this. So we take it. Wait, what is it? Soaked rice. Oh, well, I don't Put it here, I'll turn it on, blend it, then I, what is, what is, oh, I don't know, oh, this is water, oh, okay, hold on, so then, shit, I forgot what the hell it was, <laughs> I separate it and combine the rice, with water okay so then i take the sieve what the hell how am i gonna sieve it if i can't bring can i put it here i am a little lost can i put it here no damn what am i supposed to do can i see okay maybe i can get the water so confused. can i put this here no hell it says blend then separate from chunks how am i gonna do that though so can i put this here oh okay oh okay okay got it got it i was trying to do it the oh shit is, is it oh look at that oh shit uh Can I put it back here or something? No. I don't know what to do with this, but sure. Now I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drop it in the water. Okay. Do you think this is right? Oh, what the hell? No. Way too runny. We must have added. We need to find a way to use all of it. Oh god. Hold on. So I put it here. Blend it. Uh, I put it on the sieve. I sieve it. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it. And then I put it back. Ah, I got it, I got it. Blend it again. Oh my god, this is like... How many times do you think I'll have to do this? <laughs> shake, 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 shake. Make it snow. <laughs> shake. Put it back. Blend it. <laughs> This is a lot of hard work, bro. A lot of hard work. Shake it. I think it's done, man. Right? It looks like it's done. Oh, God. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, yeah, it's done. So then now can I put this in the water? Ha, <laughs> ha, ah, bitch. This is perfect. Why is it he like fly even though there's so much water? Oh, okay. We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. No rocket ship yet, though. Amma, when will we get to the rocket? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? What is this contraption, bro? I've never seen that before. Oh no. What the hell? Put coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. So you have water. 
then you have three tablespoons of something, then four tablespoons of something. It is, I don't know which one is what, bro. So it's coconut and rice, obviously. Oh wait, coconut less as far as possible. So I think three tablespoons is the coconut. Yeah, four is the rice. Okay, wait. This is straight, is it straightforward? What is teams and cooks, what's above? Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needed. And at what order? Coconut can crumble easily. Oh, interesting. Okay, why not? So then, I will put the water in this. Put this here. Oh, shit. I'm not putting it here? Oh, I have to put this first, I think. Oh, shit, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Three tablespoons of coconuts. Okay. One. Two. Three. Wait, is that right? It's gonna fill up way easily. Oh, in total. Oh, oh, I'm such a dumbass. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. We put this, then two of these. Shit, my bad. I don't know what this is, man. I don't even think I've ever seen it. Then two more. And then another coconut. And I guess the lid. And the whole thing on top here. Oh, I'm supposed to, I'm assuming, put it here and turn it on. <laughs> it's launch time. <laughs> oh, we didn't get this. Oh, oh. That is interesting. Wow. That was so cool. Then I can't believe it didn't fall. Amma, can we do that again? <laughs> ah, that's nice. That's very sweet. So puttu it's called. Hmm, never had it. Never even seen it. Oh no. We are unable to offer you a secondary teacher position. Oh damn. That sucks. Is he asleep? All of us sleeping on the same bed? I think so. Kavin? So that interview, another dead end. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience. Ah, huh. we'll keep you on file. I don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Suresh, but I think you should take that sales job at his company. I mean, and we barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I mean, fair enough, I guess. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over. That even here, we still have to beg people like Suresh. Not begging. I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the way you sold cover on the putty today. <laughs> you're really good with kids. Can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Carvin. Well, he's still fast asleep. Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in a mood to learn, you know. But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Carvin? 
I just feel that there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we do. Ah, interesting. And I feel that same wall growing around Carvin. How do you mean? What if I can't connect with Carvin? I guess. The other day, he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. I mean... People do need their privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? <laughs> Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's in a different world than us. Well, it's more than just that. Um, I guess. I thought I could at least get him to listen to music or watch some movies from back home. But he'd rather watch Home Alone for the hundredth time. I don't know, I'm worried. These things bother me too, but we chose to bring up, bring him up here, not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here, and he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities, but it also comes with its own culture, language, values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that any kid wants to fit in, right? Just scary. Don't worry, Venva. He'll turn out just fine. He's our child. How else will he turn out? <laughs> nice callback. 